Aries, my name is Ria and today we'll be working on strengthening your cores. All you need is your matte mat and your juicy stuff. Let's start. So I like to just move my little junk in the trunk there and all you're going to do is bring your arms forward um, your legs are not that apart uh, you'll see we might have to adjust the legs as we go but your legs are flat onto the mat and so all you do is sit up straight inhale at the top you go and as you go down you reach down and then come back to seated. So all you do is inhale to prepare, chin to chest, and exhale as you come down. Come back up, inhale as you prepare, sitting up straight, chin to chest, roll yourself to the mat and give yourself a juicy stretch. I'm just gonna tie my hair back because it's coming into the front and I want you guys to see me. So roll yourself upwards into seated, sitting straight up tall, feet flat against the ground. So the thing is when I was saying you might have to adjust is that sometimes, so if I have my feet too close together, I can't get that stretch in the spine. So we're going to do that one more time. I'm stretched up in front of you. You're sitting nice and tall. Inhale to prepare. Chin to chest. And you curve. Let's hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale to prepare to come back up and exhale as you come back up. Ooh, rest your arms onto your sides. And now for our next move, we're going to keep our little legs, I don't know if you guys can see me, our little legs um, about, mid, about mat width apart or shoulder width apart. We're going to do that again, so make sure you're sitting on your, so if you just need to just adjust yourself <laughs> like I am. And then our bodies are very different. I know I just have like a walk in the back. Naturally, it's just it's not the or anything. It's just God given. Thank you to parents. So Again sitting up straight tall nice and tall inhale to prepare we're going to repeat the uh, Movement again you want to point your toes or you can flex them flexing is a lot harder But if you do feel like advanced, I am going to start with pointed then as I go into the movement I will flex so you just point your little toes forward, sitting up straight, your arms stretched right in front of you, go cheek to chest. And this time, we don't take our arms all the way down, it's just hovering over our toes, like that. And then you come back up into seated. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale as you prepare, chin to chest, roll yourself. So, as you can see, my abdominals are just like going right into the back of my back of my spine. And then you come back. Up. Let's go for it. Inhale as you prepare, and you roll down as you exhale. We're gonna go a little bit more faster. You'll feel your arms working, sitting up straight again. Remember to breathe. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Just gonna do a few more of those. My arms are burning because I, I had arm day. And you come down and up and down and up for four. And down and up for three. And down and up for two. And 
down and up for one and down. Coming back up, ooh, rest your arms. So for our next move, we're gonna go into a chest lift. I'm just gonna adjust my hair so you guys can see me. If you need to adjust your hair as well, you can do that. All right, so we're gonna come into our chest lift. Uh, so what you wanna do is you can either bend, bend your knees, and so what you wanna do, you can either interlace your fingers or you can stack them. So I like to interlace them behind, just supporting my head, adjusting yourself. Um, you'll realize that you do have a curve on your lower back. It's gonna be different from all for all of us. Um, it's called the lumbar back curve. And just keep note of that curve because um, it's, uh, that's sort of like neutral position. So you don't want your elbows resting on your mat. You just want them up a little bit in line with your ears. And all you're going to do is inhale to prepare and you're going to lift chin to chest and lift. And as you can see, my rib cage goes down. And then come back down. Then we're going to inhale and exhale as you come up. And down. Let's go for eight. As you can see, expand your ribs as you inhale and you deflate them as deflate them and bring them down to the ground it's also known as uh, this is really good to strengthen your core it's one of the basic ones it's almost like i think it's called a pilates what do you call this <laughs> set up or yeah okay let's come back up for six. Ooh, i can Remember to engage your core. Ooh, I can feel it working, baby. Four. Okay, you shouldn't feel any tension in your neck if you already make me to adjust where your arms are. And two. Ooh. And one. And we're gonna hold that for eight counts. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, and come back down. Ooh, darling, you can bring your knees into your chest and rock yourself side to side. Um, just to give yourself a lower back massage and rest your abs a little. So now we're going to come into a single leg stretch. Yeah, single leg stretch. So what you want to do is bend your knees again, arms down and up. <laughs> you want to bend your knees into your chest, lift yourself off the mat, hold your shins and you're just going to, this solves all right, and we're going to just point your toes and come into a 45 degree angle as you push your legs out. It needs to be a nice and controlled movement so you don't have to go. I don't really care what your, mo your range of motion is as long as you're getting the exercise. So let's, all right, so let's go for eight. Remember to inhale and exhale and engage your core and pull your shins out. So making sure that your abs are engaged. We're almost done. Let's go for three. Let's go for two. Let's go for one. And come back down and hug your knees and give your lower back a little massage and give your abs a little rest. All right, and now we're going to go I think I might need to move this. We're going to go into a double leg stretch. So it's basically the same thing, bringing your knees to your chest. You're going to grab a hold, come back up. And all you're going to do is raise 
your arms to the ceiling, nice and tall. And all you're going to do is go all around the world, stretching your legs and grabbing them at the shins. So it's up, all around the world. All around the world and come back into center. So let's do that a few more times. Up, arms up, and then all around the world and back up. Remember to breathe and engage your core. You're gonna feel your core on this one. So let's go a little faster for eight. Eight. Okay, make sure you have space. <laughs> Remember to point your toes. Don't be like me. I'm actually hitting my plant. Who else is a plant mom here? <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one. I'm a new plant mom. So I'm really hoping that my plant doesn't die. Remember to also breathe, guys. This is going to be great on your abs. Let's go for four more. And three more. And two more. One more. Oh, and then you're gonna come back to the ground. You'll notice I do this a lot. Um, and that's mainly because this is a beginner series, so we are trying to strengthen the core, but we're not trying to punish it. Alright, so now we're gonna come into crisscross. This is a very popular exercise, not necessarily just in Pilates, but it is really good as well for the core. I mean earlier we worked on our spine stretch forward which was really good for the spine and spine mobility because we are lying on our backs a lot actually in this whole exercise in this whole episode we'll just be lying on our backs so let's prepare for our crisscross you bring your arms again your hands again behind your head i'm breath i'm breathless i had work i had a run this morning and that took me out and then I had like, I had to prepare for this class, so. Whoo, baby, I am tired and out of breath. Anyway, so to begin, chest lift, knees up into your chest. All right, so again, it's another one. Remember to engage your core and just have fun and smile through it. I'm smiling through the pain. <laughs> It shouldn't be painful, by the way, um, if it starts to pain. Especially if your neck starts to pain, you can bring it back down, okay? You don't have to, um, like, the exercises we just done. So now we're gonna go into crisscross. We're gonna start with our right arm and our left leg. Remember to point your little toesies. So all we're going to do is I mean, let's do that for eight counts. Your arm, your elbow doesn't have to touch your opposite knee, but it's just so you get the stretch in and engage your core. Let's go for five. I'm pausing in between because this is, so I'm trying to not go too fast. And if you're like getting tired at any point you can pause this workout give yourself a little break go drink some water and come back and let's for one coming back down Oof, my abs are on fire all right give yourself a little lower back exercise a lower back massage just swinging from side to side Knees are in. And take a little breath right there. I'm definitely taking a breath. All right, so how many exercises have we done? Sorry, my brain is foggy. We did spine stretch forward. We did our chest lift, single leg raise, double leg raise. And now we just did our crisscross exercise number six. 
All we're going to do in exercise number six, what are we going to do? Hmm. <laughs> um, wait, I'm trying to, my brain is fried. Sorry. Um, so you bring your legs up to the top like that. I'm just going to give mine a little trip around the world. So we're going to lift our right, lifting your chest to your, lifting your chest and again, arm, hands interlaced behind your, um, your head. All you're going to do is go to the opposite side and up. So as you can see, my name is too high up. So this is more pelvic mobility, um, so controlled. This should also work your abs, but it's more hip and pelvic mobility. You should not be moving your pelvis. So imagine you have a tray of marbles here or one more break. So that's the exercise. Let's go for it. My, I'm so tired. I should stop complaining. Though. Point your toes opposite, opposite, and then around the world. One, you should also feel something in your legs. We're gonna do this for both our legs. Make sure you have space. <laughs> don't be like me without, who don't prepare too well, I guess, for space. Mm -hmm. I thought I did. I think I practiced on the other side and I don't realize I didn't have space. Let's go for three. Up around the world. Two. Unfortunately, I don't really know the world map well, um, so I don't know what's east and west and south and all that. Come bring your leg back down. Rest a little bit there. Now we're gonna do our left leg. Go out into the world. into the world and back home. out into the world <laughs> and back home. so it's all around the world I mean think about like where you want to go um, I want to travel more this year so I'm thinking about like all these countries I want to go to don't let your knee collapse like I'm making it collapse, but it's okay. I haven't really, I was on holiday just now, so I'm really getting back to working on. And let's go for one more. Remember to breathe and engage your abs. Oh, bring it back down. And so now we're gonna go with our, with both our legs around the world. Should probably go up a little, so I can stop hitting my little bookshelf before we have an accident. All right. Lift your knee, <laughs> not your knees. Lift your legs up. <laughs> come back, up, come back up. And all you're going to do, let's start with the right hand side, and we're just gonna go all around the world. Ooh, you should feel this one in your lower abs. Ooh, I think I said double leg stretch. This is a double leg circle. And that was a single leg circle, wobbly. But remember to engage your core. I can feel my abs working. I think working hard. Okay. For three. For two. You're so awesome. Uh, whew, let's catch a breath. Okay. Last one for the day. Legs up, chest in, and we're gonna go from the leg now. All around the world in a controlled motion. And back up. All around the world. Remember to breathe. I think I'm also not breathing. <laughs> I was speaking so 
so much all around the world remember it's pointy little toesies all around the world controlled motion oh can you see how i'm falling maybe i should take a little break <laughs> all right all around the world all around the world you are you can this is going to be a bit harder if you're oh guys i'm dying <laughs> I should not do too much before I teach. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be a lot, but damn. And what? Ooh! Hug your knees. Oh! Into your chest and give yourself a lower back massage. That was our last exercise for today. I'm definitely feeling it in my, in my abs. And I am a little sweaty sweat. Come back up, roll yourself up to see and we're just going to stretch. <laughs> so we're going to go back to our spine, stretch forward. We're lying down or on our backs a lot. Give yourself a little wiggle from side to side, maybe first. Oh, just so you can get that little stretch out because my arms are on fire. I hope yours are too. Remember to stretch out your little spirit fingers. <laughs> spirit fingers out in front of you, sitting up straight. Inhale as we begin. Chest to chest, chin to chest. Come back forward. Guys, my brain is so foggy. It's so crazy. Come back up. But I, I don't want to pretend like, you know, like trainers have it all figured out. We don't. And that's the beauty of being a human being. And we have tough days too, so. And also like, the thing is my fitness levels are not where they should be right now. I ate so much pizza, love me some pizza. Also don't believe in like, not indulging in some of my favorite things. I overindulge if anything. <laughs> but I think life is too short not to have what you want Ooh. by the way with this exercise i think i forgot to mention something do not let your hang your head hang like that you should just your arm should just be in line with your ears okay let's come back to our last stretch for the day come into put your little legs and your toes into a good position doesn't matter how wide or how small you go um this is really totally up to you you don't have to sit on your heels as well if you can't so we're just going to stretch into a child's pose give yourself a nice stretch let's hold that for eight seven six five four three two and come back up <laughs> um so that's our workout completed guys i think it was a nice short one it should be about like 15 to 20 minutes and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching i know it's a little tricky thing today but i will try my hardest <laughs> next time and i'll try to take a break and not run in the morning do a whole 10 k's are you mad? Are you crazy? And then get thrust. That's crazy. So my body's on sore. And I should be better next time. And I should stop complaining. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And you've made it to the end of your workout. Can you imagine? Can you believe it? Thank you. And come back again to tune in.